Hey guys, I want to thank this person for leaving this scripture right here because this further confirms um, the rapture. Okay, so I did a study and I'm just going to, this is the original Hebrew, um, I'm sorry, this is the King James Version of the scripture right here. And so I did a study in the concordance and this is what it, what it says and after I read this to you, I will go and I will show to you I will show you that this is what it says in the concordance. Put on be clothed with arrayed in among through into toward out of the whole armor everyone everything of God that ye for your sakes may be able have permission to escape in safety stand before the judges against with regard to above the deceit after journey of the accusing falsely slanderer for we and then this part I did not <clears throat> I did not look in the concordance but it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore for this reason take up raise every one everything of God or in other words armor either armor or everyone and everything of God that ye may be able have permission to resist or opposite of escape and safety and stand before the judges so this one here is the word is histamy okay up here where it says um Escape in safety, stand before the judges. The word is histamy. The original Hebrew word is histamy. And this is, these are two of the definitions for that. This word is antihistamy. So I'm not sure what this means. Okay, but let me just finish and I'll tell you what I think maybe it means. This word is anti escape and safety and stand before the judges. In the evil hardships, day, time of judgment, and having rendered one fit altogether everyone to stand before the judges okay we all know that there are multiple levels of scripture i mean there's just it's beyond it's it's just it's beyond genius and the, and the truth is that none of us are ever going to fully understand all of the fulfillments of scripture and if i've learned anything over the last you know my whole life i guess if i've learned anything from studying this these scriptures is that they are fulfilled again and again throughout time throughout history and it's just unbelievable how they how the wording makes all these different definitions for one word makes it possible for these fulfillments to happen again and again so what I think maybe okay this is what I'm going to say I've proved in my last video that the rapture happens. There's just no question. The bride comes out of heaven at the end. There's no way the bride can come out of heaven at the end unless she was taken up before the end, okay? And that's a done deal. But I'm not... The other thing that we know is that some people that keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Christ are going to be left behind on the earth, so some people are taken up. I proved that in my last video. And some people are left behind. Um, so let me just, I'm, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. Um, this is Ephesians. This is Ephesians and this is Revelation 12. First I'm going to go to Revelation 12 because that's the faster one. Right down here, and the, remember, the woman was taken up, and she was taken to a safe place for three and a half years. I realize some people believe that that's on the earth, but it's not. It's a mountain. In the other scriptures, it says the mountain, and then in other scriptures, the mountain is in heaven. And then in Luke 17, it says in heaven. I've already proved that. I don't need to prove it again. But after the after the bride leaves the earth and goes to heaven for three and a half years, the remnant. The dragon is wroth and makes war with the remnant. So that's the, um, those that remain, etc., etc. Now this word, this word right here is the masculine plural of this word here, which means 
to be left behind. Okay? So we already know that some of the people that keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus are not going to go in the rapture. They're going to be left behind. So that makes me think, well, then maybe why th- maybe this scripture is actually talking to both groups because they all keep the commandments and have the testimony of Christ, right? But some of them have been going through persecution already. And then others of them have not been going through persecution. See, there's a lot of people right now that are arguing, saying the rapture is not going to happen because they aren't going through persecution yet. But there's a whole nother group of people that are, that are going through persecution and have been going through persecution for years. And um, this might actually be talking to both groups. Because remember how Daniel had said, uh, the other two, I just did, I just did a video. Um, you can pause to read this, by the way. This is my, um, this is only one part of my rapture proof. And there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river. So there are some of us that have already been persecuted up to now and, and, I mean, I shouldn't say us because I don't really know which group I'm in. All I know is that I've been intensely persecuted for the last 20 years and maybe even longer. So um, I just know f- absolute with certainty I've been intensely persecuted for no reason for the last 20 years, okay? And um, there are... There are some who are being persecuted right now, and there are others who are not being persecuted. And And the ones that are being persecuted believe that the rapture is going to happen, and the ones that aren't being persecuted don't believe the rapture is going to happen. And the reason I think that is is because the ones that are not persecuted are not going in the rapture. The ones that have already been persecuted are going in the rapture. They get the rest. Okay? So, I mean, if we go up here, and you can look at... This is my proof for the rapture, okay? Um, Remember, they're descending out of heaven at the end. They're descending out of heaven at the end. There's no way they can do that unless they've gone up. And I don't understand how people can continue to argue about that. They're just not listening. Um, But it says right up here... um, It says right up here that um, I'm sorry hold on a second you know like the mountain represents in heaven oh I really it's a lot there's a lot more in here than I realized um, blessed is are those that are given rest from the days of an adversity Okay, so some people are going to be given rest and other people don't need the rest because they've already been resting. Okay, so not everybody goes in the rapture. There are some people that stay on earth and go through the intense persecution for three and a half years, whereas the other people have gone through a long-term persecution that was of less intensity but more long-term before the tribulation. They get rest But then at the tribulation, the people that go through the intense persecution for three and a half years, okay? Right here. It's proof right here, okay? Um, But what I'm wondering, and I don't really know, but I'm wondering if maybe that's what this is talking about. Okay, so let me just, let me show you. Let's go to Ephesians, um, Ephesians 6, 11 through 13, Okay. So put on, I'll just click on this and show you what word we're talking about in duo. Um, It means, you know, to clothe oneself or array in. And it stems from these two words right here. So let's just look at this. Okay. This word um, can mean among, through, etc., etc. And... Toward, toward is down here. It can also mean toward. 
um, and then this other word right here means um, out of, away from. Okay, so that's where I get um, out of, away from. And then this one right here, this word means um, to go in, enter. Okay, so that's where I get this right here. So put on, be clothed with, or arrayed in. And then I put in parentheses the meanings of this. So among, through, into, toward, or out of. Okay. And then we go to armor. Sorry, next time I'll pause that so you don't have to wait. Um, okay, armor means is this word right here. Okay, which means armor. And it's a compound of this word and another word. And this word means everyone, everything, all things, etc. You see that all through here. Everyone, everything, all things. Okay. And this word also means armor. It's another, another definition of armor. Okay, so that's where I'm getting this. Put on the whole armor or everyone and everything. So put toward or out of everyone and everything of God. That ye for your sakes. Okay, so that's the next one. That ye... You, and this is an accusative case of this word. You yourselves, the plural of this. You, okay. So that you yourselves, for your sakes, for your sakes. So... that you yourselves for your sakes may be <clears throat> excuse me may be able have the power or resources the state of mind um, or by permission or law be able to do something okay so that's where I get that So that ye for your sakes may be able have permission to stand. And this word is histamy. So remember that histamy. There's a lot of different possible definitions, but look at this to escape in safety. That ye for your sakes may be able or have permission to escape in safety. And it says down here, it says, um, in the midst before the judges, stand, okay? Stand in the midst before the judges or escape in safety. I'm running out of time. Uh, but... You guys can go in. This is it right here. You can go in there and you can look at the concordance. I'll give you a link, okay? But this word down here means antihistamine. So it's the opposite of escape and safety. So there's two different groups. There's a group that escapes and there's a group that stays. Okay, I'm done. And I just wanted to say thank you to that person for posting that comment. And But please don't say hateful things, okay? Because that person posted another comment that was kind of hateful. So if you if you disagree with me, I will, I will post your comment as long as it's logically valid. Um, but if, if there's hate in it, I'm not going to post it, okay? All right, thanks again. Bye-bye.